Lynette Main has held senior positions in large organisations all over the world. Her achievements are many and her resume extremely impressive. She's the owner of Workwear World, a leading supplier of work apparel for some of Australia's largest corporations. Welcome to In Her Shoes. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. Now you had held numerous, very senior positions in the corporate world mm -hmm. before starting your own business. Mm -hmm. What had you make the decision to go out and become your own boss? I suppose in some ways my partner and I had been in big business most of our lives and when we were talking about what to do for the next phase, we thought, well, maybe we'll put a toe in the small business arena. So we took a minority shareholding in a small business and we learned our first lesson. And that was that if you really are fairly, have strong views about the way you run a company and you want to be active, then it's not really a good position to be in. So we, we bought out the workwear side of the business and left them with the sportswear manufacturing side. And we haven't looked back. It's been very successful. It's fantastic. It's been 10 years. Yes, it what has. What has been the biggest challenge in that time? Uh, the biggest challenge has been to get everything right all of the time. <laughs> if you work for a large company, you know, if something goes wrong, unless it's major, it's a bit more smooth, you know, you can hide it a bit or you don't notice it as much. But in a small business, you really have to get everything right all the time. If there's a mistake, like there was for us in the early days when an employee made a mistake that cost us a quarter of a million dollars. Now, you have to meet your commitments um, in terms of making sure that you deliver. And for us, we did that, we funded that mistake and the loyalty, we not only didn't lose a customer, but the loyalty that came as a result of that has been, it's still there today, it's been fantastic. Mm -hmm. So that's, to me, one of the biggest challenges is making sure that uh, focusing on getting things right. Mm -hmm. And it's relentless. It right. is relentless, absolutely. But it's great fun. Right? <laughs> I mean, you know, it's probably even harder to manage a smaller business than a large one in some ways. So. Well, having said that, what yeah. skills from your years in corporate have been the most useful in running your own business? For me, it's a fairly personal view because um, it's really putting employees first above everything else in the organisation. And that was really grilled us to, in, into us and I saw it work really well in Lendlease. So for me, it's about um, getting the employees involved, giving o them ownership of the business, uh, really motivating them. Because if you have passionate, committed employees that are owners, then there's nothing that they won't do for you. They will look after the customers, they'll service them to death, they'll look after the suppliers, and probably more importantly, they'll look after each other. So it can be quite exciting um, if, if you focus on that. The other thing that I think really helps coming from big, big business to small business is the discipline that you have in an organisation. Uh, in a big business, you go through the business planning phase, you create a business plan, you put the financial controls and reporting in place and other reporting, and you have a board meeting and you get everyone to participate in that. So I think that's the other side that a lot of small business people don't probably have, uh, have exposure to it. One of the areas of business that seems to be hmm, an area of expertise for you is the area of joint ventures and partnerships. Yeah. What makes a good joint venture or partnership? Um, first and foremost, uh, you need to get a compatible partner. Um, if, if, it's, if you're not compatible, it's never gonna work. Secondly, it's good if they can share the same values as you. Um, that's kind of fairly important. Mm -hmm. um, third thing is that um, it's really good if you can bring different skills to the joint venture. No matter how many partners you have, if you all bring something unique, that, that is really handy. But probably above all, most importantly, is the saying that everyone wins. Right, so that if you negotiate a partnership or a joint venture, you've got to feel that everyone got as much out of the deal as each other. Because if you have, if you say after, I got more, mine was a better deal, then it's probably going to break down. So you have to make sure that everyone wins in it. 
Now you're a champion for women in a lot of ways, but especially mm. in the development of them as leaders. Mm. Where does that passion come from? Uh, probably initially from my mother and father. They always knew that I was really passionate about just being in business versus taking a traditional route of having a family. Um, so they always encouraged me to do anything that I wanted to do. So for me it wasn't, I never felt um, uncomfortable about the fact that I'd be able to do whatever I want to do in business. So, um, so that's been great, but I'm not blind. And I see that there are some women that um, uh, have some issues or troubles in terms of whether that's being promoted or whether that's um, getting equal pay. And I think probably that one cause of that is because um, males say we want to get the best candidate, but it's the male psyche, they're evaluating the candidate from a male point of view. Um, whereas really that may not be the best candidate. So for me, getting involved with the talent development program, which is um, part of an organisation that I belong to, Chief Executive Women, and I help run that, we take senior females from the major corporates of Australia and we take them through a year program and during that program we give them skills to help them gain um, more senior roles in their organisation. It's been very successful, we have the majors and it's unbelievable if you think that you can actually help someone get somewhere where they never thought they had the skill to be able to do it. So, so that's, that's enough um, passion for me and, and input for me seeing that, that success. Great. And congratulations on your success and thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. Thank you.